Hi students, today we are going to see a Greeback normal form. So um, in the last class we have seen the normal form uh, called uh, CNF that is Chomsky, Chomsky normal form. And this is the second uh, type of uh, normal form that is Greeback normal form. And uh, if we want to say any CFG is in GNF, uh, the uh, production rules in the uh, grammar should be of these two forms. The first type of uh, productions like A gives A. That means on the right hand side there is a single terminal. And another form for the productions are A gives A gives uh, A gives A alpha. Okay, that means the productions start with a terminal and here alpha is a string of variables okay so the first one should be a terminal and the remaining can be any number of variables so that is the format of uh, Greeback normal form so when we consider Greeback normal form all the production rules should be of uh, either the first form or the second form okay then uh, to convert any CFG uh, to GNF CFG to GNF there are uh, four steps uh, the first step is uh, we have to rename all the variables rename all variables okay uh, and the renaming is like uh, the variable names should be given like a1 a2 a3 etc Okay, that means if you have a production like S gives A, B, okay, uh, we have to rename every variable. There are three, totally three variables in this production, capital S, capital A and capital B. So, S is renamed as A1, then A is renamed as A2, then B is renamed as A3, okay. So, we can uh, write, uh, rewrite this production as follows, it can be rewritten like A1 gives a2 a3 so this is the first step and before that uh, if you want to convert the cfg to gnf first of all it should be in uh, cnf it should be in uh, chomsky normal form then only we can convert it into gnf so first to make sure that uh, the grammar is in chomsky normal form then only we can apply these steps okay then uh, what step 2 says okay after converting everything in this format a1 a2 a3 format we have to check uh, one condition that means if we have a production like a i gives a j of uh, a j x okay x can be any variable okay or any string of variables then uh, this a j is the first variable in the uh, production rule okay so in this condition uh, this i should always be less than j this condition should be maintained okay so we have to check for all the production rules whether it is um, uh, meeting this condition okay that means if we have a, a, a production like this a2 gives a3 a4 okay a3 a4 so that means i here i is 2 and uh, j is 3 so 2 is less than 3 so this is uh, a valid production then if suppose we have a production like a3 gives a1 a2 here i is 3 and j is 1 so 3 is not less than 1 so this is not a valid production rule so we have to do something we have to apply something on this to make it in this format that means i less than j format so that is step two so first we will rename then we have to check for this condition if this condition is not satisfied we have to do uh, some substitutions so if i is greater than or equal to j uh, if it is okay sorry if it is uh, i is greater than j what we have to do we have to do the substitutions substitution okay then step 4 uh, sorry step 3 means uh, remove all remove all left recursions so left recursion is nothing but 
if we have a production like a2 gives a2 a3 so this left hand side is equal to the right hand side this a2 uh, left side we have a2 and right side starts with a2 so this condition is called a left recursion so this can be removed by applying some steps okay then uh, that is step 3 so we will uh, see how to convert or how to remove the left recursion and all in the next uh, phase so the step 4 is uh, convert all convert all production rules uh, to the format a gives a um, or a gives a alpha format okay so these are the four steps in um, conversion converting a cfg to gnf okay so let us take an example so consider this uh, production rule s gives a a and a gives ss okay so uh, first of all the step one what uh, step one says we have to rename okay rename all the variables so assume i rename s with the a1 and a with the a2 okay i'm going to replace like this or rename like this so the production first production i can rewrite like a1 gives a2 a2 or a okay so this one we have written then a2 gives a1 a1 b okay so this is the first step renaming we have done so this is our uh, first set of productions for a1 this is for a2 now uh, what is uh, step 2 says step 2 we have to check this condition a i gives a j a x in this format this i should be less than j so we have to check which are the productions are in this format a1 gives a2 a2 so that is uh, one is less than two so this is a valid production and the next one is a terminal so no issues then a2 gives a1 a a1 a1, a1. So, this is not in the format because this 2 is less than 1. Sorry, 2 is greater than 1. So, that is not possible. So, what we have to do, uh, we have to do the substitutions. That means A1, can, A1 has to be removed or A1 has to be replaced somewhere. So, uh, for the uh, in the A1 production, we have two options. So that means A1 can be replaced with A2, A2 or a, a one can be replaced with this a okay so either with the, this first production or with second production so we have to substitute all these okay so what we are going to do the uh, this one is uh, a2 is going to replace like uh, instead of this a1 i'm going to substitute the production for a1 this one okay a2 a2 so instead of this a1 i am going to write a2 a2 then the remaining a1 i am going to write here okay then uh, another option for substituting for a1 is a another this one is a so a a1 that is written then uh, the this production it is written okay so what we have done uh, for this a1 we have substituted this a, a to a2 then we will get this part then uh, instead of this a1 we substitute a and we will get a a1 here we substitute a so we will get a a1 then the remaining b is taken okay so this is the first set of production this is the second set of production then uh, now we have to check the validity so we have rewritten a2 so what happens here we have a2 and here also a2 so this condition is left recursion okay left recursion and this production is okay it starts with a terminal no issues 
this is only a single terminal that no issues with that and how do we remove this left recursion okay so in order to remove the left recursion uh, uh, suppose we have a recursion like this a a or b or c this is small letter c okay so in this production when we take this production this here we have a and the first letter is also a so this is a recursion okay so instead of a i will put it as a1 okay and this is a left recursion so how do we remove left recursion means we have to introduce a new variable called b i am introducing a new variable and the production for this variable is written like okay we have to take the remaining part in the left recursion the first letter we uh, omit the first letter take out the remaining part then add this capital b at the end of that remaining part okay then simply put the z okay so we take out the z and add and uh, add the capital b at the end we will get one production and this a without b that will be another production so this is an entirely new production over here okay third production then one more thing this a1 has to be rewritten like this so this recursive part we have taken out in the b in, in this production then take the remaining non recursive productions b or c we have taken out okay and two productions are there then we have to add capital b at the end of each production so for at the end of b i add a capital b okay for this one i add a capital b so then i got this one then for the small letter c so this is small letter c it's a terminal and along with that i add one more b so we get we got a, a new production for a1 okay so this is how we uh, manage the uh, left recursion okay then uh, in the same way how we can remove this left recursion uh, in this case okay so um, this is a, there is a left recursion so we introduce a new variable b v okay b gives so we omit the first part okay then take out the remaining a2 a1 then add b at the end okay this a2 a1 we have taken over here then add the b then the same thing we write it here again without b okay so this is the new production third production then a2 has to be rewritten like this okay this part we have uh, handled using capital b so we omit this part then the remaining part we will take a a1 b okay this part we have taken as such then add capital b at the end of each production rule is this one a a1 b and b b okay so these are the productions so uh, this is the a a1 production then uh, this one we have rewritten and uh, this one we have rewritten so the second one is this and the third one is this so these are the new productions we have okay so after uh, step 2 and step 3 these are the productions okay a1 is a2 a2 a then b gives a2 a1 b a2 a1 a2 gives a a1 b a a1 b okay and then uh, one more there no Uh, 
uh, one more there is B B okay so these are the productions we have finally then in the uh, step 4 we have to convert it uh, everything in this format uh, that means either one terminal on the right hand side or uh, starting with a terminal in that format okay so we take uh, this one first one first one first one it start with a variable a2 so what we have to do instead of this a2 we have to substitute these values and create the new production so a1 gives uh, instead of a2 i can first substitute this one a a1 a2 okay then b a2 then a a1 b a2 that means take everything and uh, add this last a2 at the end then b b a2 okay so uh, that is then finally one a this remaining a is a okay so now we can check everything start with a terminal okay everything start with a terminal and uh, this one is only the terminal then the next one is b again a2 is there there is a variable again this a2 has to be substituted with these four values okay so that is a a1 a1b or b a1b or a a1b a1b or b b a1b okay then again that production is over then this is production here also there is an a2 okay again that a2 has to be replaced with these four values so we'll write like this a a1 a1 okay this one a, a2 is substituted with the a a1 then the remaining a1 okay then b a1 and then a a1 b a1 then b b a1 okay then what is a2 a2 is all in the gnf format b a a1 b uh, then b b so all these productions are of this form a gives a and a gives a alpha okay so this is the gnf okay hope you understood this one thank you